gender bread basket. Okay guys, we're gonna just talk about how we met and stuff like that because all of you guys keep asking um, What's the dealio? How did you guys meet? Did you date? This is a very highly requested video In the Muslim community and the scene of the Instagram and the YouTube Very ghosted uh, How did we meet? Um, the story we said the last time in the, in the husband tag is uh, we met through uh, uni We lied! Which is a lie not, not really, kind of. Well, it's not, yeah, it's a lie. It's not a full on lie. It's not a full on lie, but this is about to go on Jeremy Kyle or some shit because we met through Facebook. <laughs> but technically, the first time we met in real life, like human was human in beings, uni. Was in uni, so it's a semi lie. The thing is, it's just a little bit embarrassing to say that you met on Facebook. Mm. Basically, I was hot like on Facebook because so it was like, yo, that's not how she's hot. Who that girl? That's not how it happened. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. A little bit. Basically, I was looking for a girlfriend. Looking. I was just looking, and uh, my sister Malia was trying to hook him up. Was trying to hook me up, and she was like, "Oh, let me show you a picture of a." Uh, Loads of my friends the, or my girls friends, I know. Or girls I know. <laughs> yeah. And there's this picture where Dina uh, was like. Uh, with one of her friends. She got like this toothpick. <laughs> I think she's coming back from Nando's yeah. or something. Oh, you were? Cheeky Nando's? My sister was like, oh, what about this girl? And pointed at her friend. And I was like, oh, no. But who's that next to her? And she's Yay. like, oh, yeah, that's Dina. But I don't know her very well. I didn't have a number, so I said, uh, so I messaged her on Facebook. And she was like, hold on a minute. Don't I know you from somewhere? And I was like, no, I don't think I know you either. It's like, have you got a brother called Sami Khan? And I was like, Hold on a minute, that's not true. What? You added me on Facebook, yeah. and then so I messaged you saying, Hi, do I know oh, you? Hi. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We still got the messages. Yeah, hi, do I know you? And I went, No. But you was hot. No, that's not how it went. I went, oh, You went, no. no, but you might know my sister. Yeah. I was like, Who that? Who that? Yeah, and he was, she was like, Have you got a brother called Sami Khan? And I was like, Yes, this is weird. Yeah. And he's like, oh yeah, because he added me a few days ago. And um, I was like, oh, is it? Well, he's like 16. <laughs> yeah, I was like, lol, because he had proper like selfie as his profile picture with, yeah. with like a hat and being all cool and stuff. I was like, okay. Yeah, <laughs> so uh, it, it's pretty funny because Dina was like into Bebo and all that weird shit. What are you doing? I'm saying hello to Hannah. <laughs> Hannah, hello. Booby. She's in the mama room right now. Oh, oh don't cry. Don't, hi, friends. Don't hello. cry. Hello, gorgeous. Hello. Say hello. Hello, lovely. Say hello. Boo boo. She's teething right now, so she's dribbling all over the place. And I went, so when are we going to meet? And she was like, what? You're a bit quick. And I went, no, just meet, have a chat, you know. Didn't you say, when am I taking you for tea? Uh, no, I said, when are we going on a date? And you went, what? You what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bit straightforward. Yeah. And um, so then, funny thing is, is Dina was in between jobs or something? Or was, I don't know. It was some call center, one or the other. So was you could tell. I can't remember. I was in some call center or something, and uh, Sid was at the time working in Tesco call center, yeah. which in Cardiff is like one of the good call centers to work in at the time. So I was like, "Yo, get me a job in Tesco call center." Innit? So I went, "All right then." <laughs> yeah, he got me an application form. We got to meet up then. Because <laughs> he was tight with his uh, team leader, so he got got me an application form, and that was our excuse to meet up. And so we met up outside the uni, wasn't it? Yeah. And he gave me the application form. By the way, we were talking for ages yeah, before yeah. we did this. We weren't just like, yeah, exactly. next day, whoa, whoa. Um, yeah, it so, was quite a while before this happened. Yeah, it was, what was it, a few months? Maybe like two months. Yeah, we were talking for about two months. And then we finally met. Um, so anyway, and then the first thing I remember thinking when I saw Sid, he was crossing the road to come to see me. I was thinking, oh, this is literally the first line in my head. I went, oh, where's the rest of him? Because in his Facebook pictures, when he added me, obviously I completely stalked all of his all of his Facebook pictures to try and figure out what kind of guy he was. And I and from his pictures, I was like, oh wow, yeah, he's really good looking. He's a little bit geeky. He's into his basketball though. He's been to America. Oh, he's super cool. He plays basketball, so he's super tall and all this business. And so that's and why I'm only five ten or eleven. Yeah, he's not. He's I'm not 5 short. 11. Yeah, he's not short, but he's not like mega tall. Yeah. So 
Um, I remember thinking, oh, where's the rest of him? I thought this dude was a baller, but... And basically my first thoughts were... Wait, gonna... I haven't finished my first thoughts. <laughs> and he had this backpack on, hitched up all high, and he was wearing proper basketball clothes, like he was wearing... Were you wearing shorts or jeans? No, man, I was wearing jeans. Oh my God, he was wearing these jeans. Oh my God. Oh my God. Basically, I just came back from California, like, um... Not in the same ago. summer. Yeah. It was just the summer just before we met. And I had these favourite jeans and they were horrible. Yeah, they were really bad. They baggy. had these wings on the pockets. They were Coogee jeans. Oh my god, it was the <laughs> I didn't even know what I was. Did you just recently them. check them out as well? <laughs> yeah. When we got married. I haven't worn them, them for ages, but keep them because of good memories. And then I was like, I don't think I like his dress sense. But he's still got a really, really good looking face. Mashallah. Across the road, I looked at you and I went. Bloody hell, that flipping top is tight. <laughs> <laughs> I used to wear really tight tops and then baggy trousers like harem pants and then but my tops were like, you know the underneath tops that you wear from Primark and stuff? They were that tight, my tops. I was it? like, what yeah. the heck? That top is tight as shit. Yeah, I don't know how I used to You about to explode that. out of that top. You look like flipping. No, I was super thin. And then she had... I used to wear tight clothes and you used to wear clothes way to the floor. And then the second thing was... Yo, that scarf, that scarf you used to wear, you used to wear something underneath and it was about this big. <laughs> no lie, it was about this big. Guys, if you follow me from years ago, when I first started blogging and that, I was really doing this uh, style where my head was out here. Because I had this idea that big hair looks good on girls, so big scarf would look good on Yeah, and I was like, why are you packing under there, seriously? Yeah. Weapon of mass destruction. That's what people probably think when you go in an airport. Well, when you used to go in an airport. That's why I never have to get back down. He handed me over the CV first Yeah, thing. I was like, so... I was like, nice one, see you, mate. No, she <laughs> wasn't. She was like, so what are you doing? And I was like, oh, you can chill out with stuff. No, I was like, can you help me fill it out then? Yeah, right. And then I actually can't remember what happened after that. I can't remember. I know that we kept meeting up. The only time we'd meet up is because we were going to the same uni. And basically... Oh, we'd hang the, out in uni all the, the time. Yeah, the, there's two unis. There's different it's campuses. Called, it's called, yeah, it's called Glamorgan University. They have two campuses. They have one campus that's far as hell. Then they have a creative campus. It's called the Atrium, the Sin Cardiff Central. So, um, you know, the, they used to have, like, nice computers there and stuff. So Dina used to, like, come in down there and using, like, the iMac and the... And I used to do a Photoshop module in one of my... Yeah, which, uh, basically... I got him to do it all for me. Yeah, which is why I failed my third year. You didn't fail. I failed. Oh, but your overall degree you didn't fail. Overall degree, I I just scraped it. I passed. Yeah. But I failed my third year because he was too occupied with me. Yeah, basically. And in the end, I didn't even carry on with uni. <laughs> lol, lol. Ah. Hello, honey buns. What's You're that? right. Oh. oh. If you just chill out for a second. We'll we'll deal with you in a minute. Yeah. Then you can have booby. Yeah. Nom nom nom. What happened between this time was, Dina was like, oh. I'm really interested in fashion and all of this stuff. So I was like, why aren't you doing fashion in uni? You're doing like humanitarian weird. Yeah. What are you doing? Humanities. Whatever it is. It wasn't fashion. Was I was doing it? a bit of English and a bit of art and a bit of Yeah, I, so why aren't you doing fashion? And she was like, oh, I couldn't get into the course because I'm thick. I never even applied. Joking. So then I was like, yo, I know what I'm doing. I'm leaving my course and I'm going to start making stuff at home. And then we're going to go to the Atrium University yeah. and, and you're going to book out a photo studio for yeah. me. And we're gonna take photo shoots in there and I'm just gonna do everything by myself. So when you saw those very first pictures on Facebook and stuff like that, they were horrible and everything, but yeah, that was that was us. That was us back then. <laughs> yeah. So I've known Sid that ever since I started Dina Tokyo. We're just friends for a while and stuff like that, and then I didn't talk to her for ages and all this stuff. I know one of his sisters from before anyway, I didn't know her properly, Maliha, but I knew her from like the community. We used to take part in the community fashion shows, like things like that, basically. So I just knew of them. I didn't know that she had a brother or anything though, I just knew her. I didn't even know she had sisters, I just knew her. They invited me to their other sister's wedding. Yes. I was like, what the hell, I go, be fun, woo. After Sumaya's wedding, yeah. which is my other sister, yeah. uh, we started talking more and stuff like that. No, the then... same night of Sumaya's Mendy, we were on the phone. And what happened? What happened is, Maliha was in the background teasing Sid. Oh, there's these other girls. Are you interested? Should I get you some another one's number? And you were like, no, man, I'm talking to Dina. And she was like, yeah, so what, 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 what's the reason? She was digging because she wanted to hear, hear him say it, basically. And then he was just like, because then she was like, oh, what, are you guys together now? And he just went, yeah. 
We are to his sister, but while I was on the phone. And but I we weren't went, actually together. But we weren't actually together. Or we hadn't had that conversation. Yeah. And then I just went, what? Are we? He was like, yeah, we are. And I was like, oh. Okay, okay then. then. <laughs> That's basically what happened. That's basically what happened. And that was after of like five months of talking to each other. Uh, yeah, it was about five, six months. Yeah. And then, pretty much as soon as we officially got together, which is completely haram the way we did it and everything, by the way, so do not do that. But try we and, didn't do Try and avoid it. Try and avoid, you know, talking to a guy and meeting up without a chaperone and things like that. We're not saying do that. We're just telling you our story, okay? Yeah. After, after, oh and my god. god. What happened is after we, uh... <laughs> she, doesn't, she doesn't want to know this story. Yeah, no, she doesn't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Happy bun. Hello. Boo boo. Quickly, quickly. Pretty much just decided that we wanted to get married, right? I wasn't just looking for like a fling or something or just a girlfriend. I was looking for a wifey bro. Yeah. And I thought, yeah, Dina would be nice. So Dina would be nice. It would be a little good, did he little know. Little did I know. <laughs> when we like got together, we were like, okay, we're not just gonna be boyfriend girlfriend. We're not into that. If we're gonna get together, we want to be serious. So we want to get married. So let's tell parents. And um, because uh, that was quite a scary thought process for us both. We decided each to tell whoever would probably be the easiest to tell. It was pretty straightforward for me, obviously. We knew that our cultural differences would be quite difficult when it comes to getting married. I'm half Egyptian, half English, so... And I'm Patan, Pakistani. And normally they're really strict too, and they only want Patan girls, so... Basically, um, I was like, okay, well, I'm not telling my dad now, poor. So I'll tell Mama, and then maybe she can tell Bob. Sure. Are you being fussy, Pods? Are you being fussy? Boo-boo! Hello! big loads of hair. Got bogey. You got bogeys. Hello. I came home from uni one day, so I was on the stepper. Boom, boom, boom. One, two, one, two. What to do? What to do? And Mama came in. I was like, Oh, Mama, hold on a minute. I got. Oh, oh bless alhamdulillah. you. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. I was like, Oh, Mama, um, I got something to tell you, honey, boo boo. Basically, there's this guy in uni, yeah, and he wants to ask for my hand in marriage. So, what should I do? And she was like, oh, where's he from? What does he do? And I was like, well, he's in uni. And he's from Cardiff as yeah. well. And uh, yeah. he's Pakistani. And she went, oh, that might be a bit of a problem, isn't it? Why is that a bit of a problem? And I was like, why? She was like, well, because your dad's Egyptian and he's probably going to be like, oh, how's that going to work? Your dad's Egyptian. Egyptian. Yeah, he's Egyptian. And I was like, don't worry, he's a good Muslim, this one. So it shouldn't be any problem with the culture, right? Because we're good Muslim, innit? And he'd be a make, make a fantastic husband. She was like, okay then, I'll tell Baba and we'll see what happens. Me and Sid have been Is it together. Basic? Wait, me and Sid have been together for coming up to six years. Yeah. And from the beginning of that six years, we've been Oof. trying to get married. Well, yeah. But I've we been... only managed to do it. Two years ago. My dad originally was like, wait till you graduate and get a job. And then so I graduated and got a job. Got uh, a few Very jobs. quick. <laughs> I used to work in Hertfordshire for a company uh, that does like screen content and stuff. You worked in Cardiff for a bit as well. I worked in Cardiff for a bit and then I worked in London uh, yeah. for a title design company. And, and that's uh, why we lived in London the first year of our marriage. We had a place and I was like, what's the hold up? I got my dad on the go as well, to kind of like talk to him. Came over a few times to ask officially with his dad. Yeah. Um, and my dad just kept saying, oh, uh, wait till you get a job or oh, we'll get back to you on it. Things like that, innit? Yeah, because you know, it's kind of hard for dads and the daughters, I guess. My dad he understood that and was like, okay, we'll give. You know. Yeah, and my dad couldn't see how we, it was going to work. He, he he was just like, it's not going to work out because you guys are from different cultures. Yeah. And I, I was just like, okay, we're different cultures, but at the end of the day, we're not really because you, Baba, are from a different culture and Sid's dad is from a different culture. But me and Sid were born and bought... Well, I was born in Egypt, but don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> me and Sid were brought up in the UK, so we've both got that British way of thinking, the British Muslim way of thinking. And so we should be fine, you know what I mean, Dad? I kept on and on and on at him for for years. But the good thing about it was I had the rest of the family to back me up on it and to say that, yes, Sid, does, we want Sid, come on, Baba, get it going. It took four years oh, for him to eventually say, okay, bring him over and we'll read the Fataha. And we did that. By the way, when you read the Fataha, it's kind of like, um, it's kind of like the dads reading it together. Just like an agreement. And it's kind of like an agreement to plan to get married, kind of like 
kind of like an engagement. Yeah. Kind of yeah, like it's an a, basically an engagement. Yeah, it's like an engagement. So then we got engaged and it wasn't like a big do or anything. It was no, literally it was Sid, in the house. his dad and his brother over our house. They were in the living room and I was like, yo, I need to listen to this. So I was literally outside with the door closed listening. And all I heard was Bob going to Sid. So you can read Quran, can you? Yeah, basically. And Sid was like, yeah, yeah, I can read. They're like, not thinking, just obviously like, yeah, I can read. And my dad was like, so if I got the Quran out now and turned any page, you'd be able to read it. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not I, gonna do that. But if I did that, you'd be able to. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. And so he did. And that. I was like, he was like, he was like, oh, oh, Hassan, the Quran. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and well, I went. I was just like, and he was like, <laughs> Hassan was probably like, <laughs> I was just la 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 la. I was <laughs> like, yo, this guy just trolled me hardcore. <laughs> so he turned to any page. Can you remember what page it was? I don't know. And he went, yeah, read. And he was going, and I was reading, and, and he was point, going, yes, right. <laughs> yeah, right. Wait, at this point, I was outside the room, <laughs> dying. I was like, oh my God, Mama, I can't believe he's doing this. Oh my God, this is so embarrassing. Yeah. But I guess it was just my dad's way of like reassuring himself. I was just like so embarrassed and everything. And my dad, my no, dad was there, just like that. Yeah, go on, go ahead. My dad turned go around on, to I me after I read. <laughs> no, he didn't. He turned around to me after I read. And he went, yo, you need to work on that, <laughs> basically in my language. <laughs> Straight after that, what did he do? He, he like got up and he was like, okay, my bro. Yeah, yeah, we shook hands and hugged and everything. Shook hands and, and then he forward. called me down. Called her in. I came downstairs and I was like, hey. She was and then we all sat around the table and had a bit of chocolate. Do you know what was funny? My dad, he, he, he was sitting there down and that and he was like, he saw a picture, like a graduation picture and he went, oh, is that her? <laughs> Oh, is it that was Dina? Tusi. It was Dina's sister. And I, was like, I didn't graduate. I was like, so. no, that's Dina's sister, Tusi. She, she, um, Dina didn't graduate. And he went... Dina makes videos online. <laughs> he, was like, he was like, oh? <laughs> and what, she, what did she do? <laughs> I was like, no, she's like entrepreneur. He was like, oh, is it business? <laughs> <laughs> we had cake and it was all a bit of like that... Oh, we had baklava that, that, that I bought earlier. <laughs> yeah, which is awful. Uh, what? Sorry guys, but Pakistanis are really great at their curries and like savoury food, but the sweet food is so awful. We got, I got it from our Arab shop. Yeah, well they were selling it, it was Pakistani. Arab on Albany Road. No, you didn't, you brought over... I bought baklava from our Arab shop. No, you didn't, you bought Ambala sweets, man. Was that the first time you came? I don't know what time that I was. No, I just remember Mama going, yeah, tell him not to bring that again. <laughs> We've kind of like wrapped up the story, but those four years of us trying to get married were super, super difficult. Oh, yeah, it was hard. It was very, very hard. And throughout those four years, um, some of it, I was living in London, Sid was also living in London. And so we see, we see each other there, but some of it, I went, I moved to Egypt for a few months. I didn't move, I just went to stay in Egypt for a few well, months. We basically moved. Yeah, I moved for a few months and got a teaching job out there while he worked in Hartford and and London so there's loads of stuff going on and it wasn't easy to try and get it was very difficult but we persisted See, it's easy to persist to your parents if you know that you really really want to get married then we started going ahead and planning yeah everything. then it was around December that we got engaged and so we decided that we would get married the following summer which was summer 2013 yeah and we got married in September the 1st we uh, did the date September the 1st 2013 uh, we did we wow. got the venue ourselves we, we literally did our whole wedding ourselves I even made the invitations and the save the dates and all that yeah stuff. the invitation was so cool he did like this because uh, he's a motion graphic designer so he did this like funny video thing to send out to our guests for them to RSVP nobody appreciated it but whatever nobody got it but it doesn't yeah. matter our wedding was nice was uh, it the best day of your life? no no, it was you. pretty much the worst day of my life. You can't enjoy <laughs> your wedding day. You can't enjoy your own wedding. It's just you the weirdest it's thing so ever. So stressful, man. It was really, really, really stressful. I didn't. We didn't eat. Barely. But everybody else enjoyed it, and yeah. I guess that's the main thing, huh? And then a few days later, we had the like Walima, uh, which my family threw. Yeah. And um, that was stressing us out. But we didn't do much. We just turned up to that, really. Yeah. And then after that, we went on a honeymoon. Yay, Morocco! With uh, the worst food we ever. We went to Marrakesh. Yeah, Moroccan food, where's food at? Nah, I'm joking. The thing is, everybody, oh my god, we can talk about this now. Yeah. In our husband tag, um, when we first got married, okay, maybe I was a bit blunt, saying the food was horrible and we didn't explain it. And you guys didn't know Sid very well back yeah, then, to um, know that he's very blunt. Yeah, maybe I should have explained we went to the wrong places. It is very untrue you really, when you yeah. say Moroccan food is the third best cuisine in the world, because it isn't. Who made that statistic? Who? Is it a poll going round? 
It's the third best in the world. It's the third best. Everybody says. Alright, chill out. It's the third best. It's not the third best in the world. Who the hell told you that? Hello. There's not a fact about the best cuisine in the world. Ugh. Chill out, Sid. No, because chill. you annoy me with that shit. He's annoyed. It's not a fact. It's not a fact. So get over it. By the way, guys, first year of marriage is also incredibly difficult. We should do a video on how to survive first year of marriage. There were so many arguments. Uh, I remember some arguments where we, I don't even know where it's about, something little and stuff, but we had a food fight in the house. Oh, yeah. And there was a Our landlady fight. wasn't happy about that when we moved out, but we didn't, she wasn't great. Yeah, so. she was a shit landlady. She was horrible. Yeah. She was so OCD, man, isn't it? Oh my god, our first flat was the worst thing ever. She, the, our landlady was horrible. She literally, this flat was her baby. Yeah, it was her baby. She couldn't let it go, even yeah. though she was living in And she was like, don't put your shoes on uh, when she you're walking us, around on our yeah, carpet. Yeah, no shoes in the house. We I were was like, just like, why are you setting this? these rules? We've just moved in. And you can't set these rules. Yeah, you we're can't set these it. rules. We're living like, here. Like, it's... It's our place. You're telling us to take our shoes off outside of the house. Yeah, outside of the house. What? Outside of the flat. We should have seen the warnings. That, that's a warning sign. We should have yeah. seen it. Before. We should have seen should've the should've warnings seen completely. Yeah. Like she was a nightmare, complete and utter nightmare. Anyway. Anyways, we, we had a food fight in your flat, <laughs> and then we cleaned it afterwards, and we didn't tell you anything. <laughs> ah. Yeah, and it was pasta sauce. Yeah. That's what that stuff on the blind was, honey. Yeah, the yeah. blinds, yeah. The stains on the blind that you kept complaining right, about. We, we're, just being <laughs> we're just being horrible now. Basically, me and Sid are going to attempt doing a lot more of things on YouTube and we thought we would do uh, videos answering you guys' you guys's, you guys's questions uh, that you can send in to us on sidandina at gmail.com. Email will be in the description box. And um, that way we can make weekly videos. Maybe it will turn into daily videos where we can just go through our email pick a question you guys can leave the question in the subject of the email yeah. and we can do a whole video on this topic so it can be anything uh, regarding relationship advice school it's not necessarily questions about us it's questions about you anyway guys we hope you enjoyed our little marriage slash dating story which is totally not allowed so don't date if you're 14 and watching this do not think it's okay to date it's not. See ya. Didn't want to be ya. Take it easy. Aye.